One of the things that I would love to give my audience is passion for themselves, for their own ideas, for their own potential. That to not be inhibited by their crazy ideas, but go for them, try them. What's the worst that can happen? They'll make a mistake, big deal. They'll learn from the mistake and try again. If my passion can be contagious, and they can then leave my workshop or leave the classroom or wherever it is we meet, and they feel like, yeah, I'm going to try that. And I'm not say what I told them to try, but what they've always dreamed of trying. In the corporate space, we learn to, to be accepted, to follow the rules to fit into the nice cubby holes so that we get the perks that we want, so that we get the approval of our peers and the notice of our employers. But to shine in the corporate world, you have to take a chance of being a little bit different and to even allow others around you to shine because of you. So. If I can teach that kind of passion for your own vision and openness to other people's visions, and then synthesis through brainstorming, through learning from each other, the potential for innovation, for trying, for not coming out with the same old product. I have a friend who once said to me, we want something new as long as we've sold it before. People will come to the conference room with a new idea and they'll go, that's great, but how do we sell it? How do we do this? They, they start dampening it down, dampening it down until it becomes so much smaller than it could be. If instead they can open it up and say, here's an idea, it's crazy, let's just play with it for a while and see what we come up with. That's when you have innovation. Also in society and in our country, that's when we have a better economy, when we have better education. It's all about opening ourselves up, trusting our own passion, and then listening to each other.